So we're here at Amex 2013 for Australian Mining. My name is Alex Heaver and I've come across strata worldwide and their refuge chambers. Today we have Tony Ferruja. How are you today, Tony? I'm fantastic, thank you. How are you, How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Great. Uh, so safety is, is very important in a mine site and, and refuge chambers are an aspect of that. Now having a refuge chamber on a mine site is not compulsory but it is a good guideline. Can you tell yes. me a little bit about that? Yes, it's not compulsory but they do have, we do have a uh, guideline out of Western Australia, which is a, a protocol for the chambers. Um, it's, it's virtually a guide that, that's been issued by the uh, Western Australian Minerals that, that says that you should have a refuge chamber if you haven't got any fresh air rises or uh, any other means of escape. Why do you think it's not compulsory to have a refuge chamber underground in a mine? Because it for, it's only one small part of the whole emergency rescue exercise. So um, it, it forms a part of the rescue exercise um, and that should be combined with uh, vehicles and, and the rescue team. Um, so to have one, one refuge regulation is not quite right. Yeah. Okay. So what, what would be right? What, what sort of guidelines and regulations need to make our minds safer? I think what we need is, uh, is to do, which, which is the current practice, that the mines do a risk assessment and they uh, work out where the, where the chamber should be. Uh, and they'll, they'll put them in strategic places. And most mines do comply with that, Australia-wide. Even though, even though it's a guideline, there's no regulation, they will, they will place chambers at, at strategic locations to, to, to make it safe for the guys to get out. So behind us here today, we have a hard rock refuge chamber. That's right. What are the key features of a hard rock refuge chamber? Oh, what it is, it's a king size self-rescuer. When you go in a mine, you know what a self-rescuer is? Mm -hmm. A self-rescuer is something that you, you, you take off your hip and you put on your face and you walk out in safety. Um, a refuge chamber is virtually a king size self rescuer. Instead of wearing it, you jump inside it and you set it out. Um, the key features are that it gives you, gives you good clean air, it's air conditioned, it's comfortable, it has a toilet, and uh, it, it's got good facility, a good, good facility and, and, and good uh, commodities to keep you, keep you going for uh, 36 hours. And what sort of sites have you deployed this on? Oh, they're all over the place. We've got them all overseas. Um, well, we are the world's biggest, if you didn't know. Um, we've sold over 1,200 chambers in the last five years. Um, we have Mexico and, and USA, uh, Australia, we're dotted all over the place, throughout Barrick and uh, into, into Queensland. MMG are our very good customers. Olympic Dam, yeah, we're very famous with uh, our friends at Olympic Dam. Um, they like our product. It's, it's the features of our product. The features of our chambers is very simple to use. And we're here at Amex today. How are yep. you finding it? Day, day three? Today is very good. Yeah, we've had a lot of good quality people coming through, um, good managers, good inquiries, solid inquiries and good questions. Yeah, been very good. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, Tony. Thank you very much. It's Alex Heber for Australian Mining at Amex 2013.